Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday and it's about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, I just jumped out of the shower so I'm all nice and fresh and clean. I've got a bit of heat rash on my neck which I've never got before. Um, but today Ali and I are going to Ascot which I've actually never been to. We're going with Links of London and um, we're just going to have a really nice day. I'm hoping it's going to be quite glam and I've got my outfit sorted but I thought that I would kind of show you my I don't know how to put it, like my special occasion get ready with me. So this could be good for like if you've got like a birthday or an event or something. But also over these months, it could be quite good if you've got like a wedding or not your own wedding. Um, you'd probably want lots of fancy stuff for that. But um, if you're just going to a wedding or you just want your makeup and hair and skin to look amazing, then this is kind of like the step by step that I use. Um, I have already washed my face because um, I was in the shower, but I'm going to do a face mask and I do this face mask every time before I get ready for like a special event. So I thought I'd do that with you and then get ready with you. So this is the Flash Mud from Glam Glow and you would have seen this before on my channel. I've used it so much, I probably already need a new one. Um, but this is what I'm just going to apply a thin layer all over my face and leave that on for about 10 minutes. Now you will notice that your skin goes a little bit red. Um, that's perfectly normal. I know the first time I did it, I was like, oh, it's perfectly normal. And I always find that my skin looks really, really bright afterwards and um, luminous. So yeah, but you have to do quite a thin layer, I would say, because it can be quite difficult to get off. But this is the one mask that I notice such a massive difference in my skin. And it's just so, like, it just brightens it straight away. So I've got into the habit of using this quite a bit. It's so hot here in the UK at the moment that doing my makeup has been quite challenging. But I found a little cool area in my office and... Um, I'm going to kick things off with the new product from Glam Glow. This is the Glow Starter and it comes in three different shades. It is in Sun Glow, which is my favourite obviously, uh, Pearl Glow and Nude Glow. This is one of those items that just kind of does it all. So it's an illuminating moisturiser that has hyaluronic acid in, which for me is one of those products that I see instantly affect my skin. It's always plumper and fuller and hydrated and that's just something that I've really got into at the moment. I feel like it's one of those things that everyone's into. It's also got vitamins, minerals and antioxidants so each of these are a great way to kickstart your skin in the morning. That's why I use it straight after the flash mud mask when I'm sort of getting ready for a big day out but I do use this on a daily basis now. You'll see how much I've used already. The look today is super glowy. My dress is kind of like an orangey corally color so I want really luminous and glowy skin so I'm going to use the sun glow because I'm a little bit tanned at the moment if you just ignore my heat rash on my neck oh my god it's so embarrassing <laughs> I've never had heat rash before just pop a bit on my chin and my cheeks and my forehead maybe a little bit on my nose <laughs> and I just work that into the skin it's also got pearl particles which blurs the pores which for me is great we've talked about my large pores before when I do my makeup and so that's something that I really sort of appreciate in this moisturizer so as you can see already here I can see the light picking it up um, at the highest point it's already got this beautiful natural highlight and then on my chin as well so this is something that you can kind of wear on its own when you want a real kind of bare face look but you can also pop it under your foundation to make it much more luminous and this isn't the last of the glow starter that you're going to see as well I will be using it for something else a bit later on but now let's go in with my foundation and I'm still using the Armani luminous silk again I want that kind of luminous base so I'm going to pop as I always do one pump on my hands and then a little bit of the Lumi serum and just massage those together and using my fingers I just rub it all over my face Lots of people were asking about the Armani Power Fabric Foundation. I find that that one just works really well in the winter and uh, Luminous Silk is a lot better for summer. So um, I tend to go for a much lighter foundation base in summer, which is why I use my fingers and just add little bits where I need to. 
to make sure everything is even I then take a damp beauty blender so it's just with water and then I'm going to use the glam glow glow setter as you can see I've used a load of this already I basically use this every single day since I've got it they say that this gives you an instant sexy Hollywood glow and I'm not sure I know what that looks like but it does do just wonders to my skin so I'm going to spray this onto the beauty blender just to help with setting my foundation but I will pop this on again a bit later. I just pop a little bit on the back of my hand, not a huge amount, just to um, blend in what's already there. The glow setter kind of like boosts the radiance in my skin as well so we're obviously going for such a luminous and glowy look that this is the perfect setting spray for it so I've just become so so obsessed with it. It's a really sort of light dabbing of my foundation, nothing heavy, that's not what I'm going for. I really just want, I'm going to keep saying it, like such a glowy base that's what I'm going for. I might need a little bit more concealer today though because I've been up since about 5.30. I wasn't supposed to wake up at 5.30 but for some unknown reason I woke up at 5.30 and I think I went to bed at 1 so um, eye drops and concealer all round. <laughs> For my concealer, I am back using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Custard. This is like one of those products you just always go back to, so I also need it really badly for these bags because sleepy Lydia. Spray a little bit more of the Glow Setter Spray on my Beauty Blender. Try so hard not to pull my usual concealer face when I'm like... It's so hard. I say to myself, don't do it, and then I just do it anyway. Then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is the Le Mer bronzer. This is from their summer collection. I had been waiting for this for so long. I'm so obsessed with the Le Mer summer collection. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know why, but my neck never like gets any natural glow in the sun. Very strange. I always have to like blend it into my body. Do my hairline as well. I really like that kind of haloed glow over your skin. Skin. For my blusher, I'm using the L'Oreal Le Blush blush in shade Rose Santal. I know, Lumi, you're outside the door. I had to lock her out so that she doesn't come in and disturb me. Shush, Lulu. To set my base, I'm using the By Terry Compact Expert Dual Powder in Ivory Fair. Got a bit of a highlight in the middle and then a powder around the edge. Because I don't want to put the glow starters and all of those glowy products on my skin and then mattify it all with a powder. So I use this all over and then I go in with a different powder just in these areas so that I don't look sweaty. So for the beginnings of my brows, is that the right word? Um, I'm going to use the Tom Ford Brow Sculptor in Espresso and I just use this to do little hair strokes. I want to go for a more natural brow look today so I think I'm going to use this up here as well and just draw in hair strokes so that it doesn't look too block brow. And now for my highlight, I am going to use the Nude Glow on the highest points of my cheeks. So this is the Nude Glow one and it's just a little bit sort of pinkier and you do not need a lot for this. So pat that in with a highlighter brush so that it doesn't move my makeup around. So nice. And it's just so natural. I, I'm really not going for the sort of um, really sort of stripy highlight anymore. I want something more natural and dewy just so that it looks like a natural glow. And I definitely find that sort of more liquid cream based highlighters work best for this. I love this. Look at that. It's just a natural sheen. Oh, it's so nice. And then I'm just going to pop a tiny, I'm going to stop saying pop, but I am popping a tiny little bit of the pearl glow just on my eyelids to give that a bit of a dewy glow as well. And I actually just sort of focus this around the hairline rather than all over the eye and just kind of blend it up a little bit. For my eyelashes, I'm using a Tweezerman eyelash curler and the Christian Louboutin mascara. I'm still using this. I love it. It's definitely better when it's new but um, this is such a good mascara still. Whilst the first layer sets, I'm gonna do my lips. And for this, I'm gonna use the MAC lip liner, which I still need a new one of. And um, this is in shade Spice. And then I'm gonna pop over the top the NARS lipstick in shade Orgasm. 
I'm just going to let my eyelashes set and I'm also going to set my makeup in the meantime using the Glam Glow Glow Setter and this will just keep my makeup fresh but also in place throughout the entire day which I'm kind of hoping for because we're going to be outside and I don't think my bag is going to be big enough to fit all my makeup in so just spray this. And that is my super glowy, I don't think I've ever done anything this glowy before, makeup tutorial. And um, now I better get my hair done, I think Ali needs to get ready as well, I've kept him in the bedroom whilst I do this. So um, let's get going. So I had my hair done yesterday, I had the colour done and a little bit of a refresh and I had the front bits cut so it's a bit healthier as well. Um, but I'm not someone that likes blow dries. So I'm going to do my hair myself this morning, but just really quickly, I'm using the wide GHDs, which are probably like my favourite GHDs because they're the easiest to just get a loose wave and it doesn't have to be too uniform. So I'm just going to talk you through like the first stages, but not go into too much depth because it's hot and I just want to get it done. <laughs> so basically start at the lower layers and I just curl the lower layers like this and just create a really loose curl. And I just do this the entire way over my head, so just these tiny little waves at the bottom. And as I get to the top layers, if I, if I feel like it needs to go up a little bit and just be a little bit less uniformed and not focus on the bottom, then I'll do that. But this is basically the long and short of it. It's super easy, just focusing mainly on the ends so that I don't get a mushroom head. If you can hear the fan going, I'm sorry. It's just so hot today. I wish I was allowed to wear a dress with no sleeves, but at Ascot, you're not allowed, apparently. It's going to be so hot. Ali's in a suit. Bless him. Alright, oh baby, just pull tight. We're up at the moonlight. Believe in the magic. We'll make it feel just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic so after asking everyone's advice on Instagram stories last night, I settled on the Coral Alexis dress that I got from the Outnet. I think I got this like half price, which was such a win. It was the only one left in, in like my size. There was only one like in all sizes and it was mine. I got this hat from Jane Taylor, which is literally the most perfect hat. This is just a loan, but um, super expensive as well. I can't believe how expensive hats are. <gasps> I didn't even know that. I'm loving my makeup as well. I think that the NARS lipstick is a really great addition to the outfit. It's not too coral, but it's got like a little coral tone. And then I just love how glowy everything looks. Literally, I just, I love my outfit and I love my makeup and I love my hair. So I think it's going to be a good day. And oh my gosh, you wait until you see Ali. He looks so good. I'm going to show you when we get there though, because we've got a bit of a long journey. I'm actually really looking forward to this as well, because I've never been to Ascot. So um, I think it's going to be a really good day. So I guess we should get going. since this morning but we're here and we're having lunch everyone's at the top of the rosemary bus and it's so nice it's such a lovely little breeze coming through and it's just nice and chilled i'm waiting for some champagne to arrive and we've got some goodie bags so i'm gonna have a rummage in there later and i think that ali is planning on taking well making a few bets here and there he's good at stuff like that i'm not really good at stuff like that so i'm gonna leave it to him it is the perfect day though today so um i'm just loving life actually loving being dressed up a little bit different like i've never worn one of these before so i'm kind of liking it oh yeah let me know which is yours and which is either on the sky or the lapel oh yeah <laughs> you open yours up Slow ride, just oh, your face ride We're like the sunshine We're like the magic When I finally put all this together currently 
being extremely yeah. British and having some cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, it's so hot. We've just got home <laughs> after a really nice day at um, Ascot. Oh my gosh, it was so, so nice. So I just fell asleep in the car on the way home. It's very, very hot in our house, so I'm gonna get out of this lovely dress. Comfies and Love Island time and lots of water because I don't feel like I drank enough water today. So I'd be surprised if you can hear me. There's about 50 million fans in our bedroom at the moment and I don't mean like fans of us, but fans as in it's hot. <laughs> I really haven't slept well because it's been so hot that I just lie here and I'm like, uh, like I can't have anything like touching me because I'm just so hot. Um, so yeah, it's a bit like muggy tonight. I feel like that's a word I've picked up from Love Island. Muggy. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go to bed now and um, I think tomorrow's just kind of a chilled day at home so it shouldn't be too exciting, but just a, a normal day at home with the fam. So I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. I'll just hit myself in the Your words on my mind, they keep me warm. Somewhere we are still one. Somewhere we are still one. I'm a fight in a chorus. Oh, you try to start it. You pay, but I'm not done. You pay, but I'm not done. <sighs> <laughs> so today's a good day because it rained and now we're lovely and cool. Yes. So it was so hot again last night. We had to like open all of the windows and it was very hotty. And today that we woke up to a storm, <laughs> it was so funny. It went boom and, I, I woke and Ali woke up and he was like, what was that? <laughs> but yeah, so it's much cooler today. We feel a lot less muggy. It's very miserable though. It's not like a- Muggy. <laughs> muggy <Yeah>. Mike. <laughs> Um, but I'm about to go and get ready. I'm just having an iced coffee that I made for Ali and I and then um, yeah, gonna get ready for the day. So I'm gonna get ready for the rest of the day. Obviously today's gonna be a bit more of a everyday look, like just my normal kind of look. Whereas yesterday was what I would do to be a bit more glam. I know I didn't do like massive amounts different, but especially when I need extra like staying power in my uh, foundation because I couldn't fit any foundation in my bag yesterday. And it lasted all day like literally all day i don't know whether you can see that from the video yesterday but i didn't touch up my face once which was actually an absolute godsend because i was expecting to keep looking in the mirror and be like oh my god lydia you've swept off all your makeup but i didn't so i'm going to start by prepping my skin again with the glam glow glow starter in shade sun glow because this is just the right kind of color for my skin just gonna pop here here and here Maybe a little bit here. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible and not talk so much. So I'm gonna do a really light makeup. So just again, one pump and one pump. I feel like my foundation goes on a lot easier when I use the glow starters as well. So I've got my damp beauty blender again and I'm gonna spray it with the glow setter again. And I just mainly use it to blend in the areas like around here where it's difficult for me to see where I've blended and where I haven't. So this just sort of goes over everything and blends it in nicely. I'm gonna go a lot lighter with my concealer. So I'm gonna use the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Eclat just under my eyes like so. This is just light and fresh. Basically like your skin, but better, I hope. Might be a, bit, a little bit more than that. <laughs> Then to keep the glow on my face, I'm gonna be using the By Terry Compact Expert Dual Powder, and this is shade Ivory Fair, and I feel like By Terry is probably one of the best ones. I was absolutely gutted when my um, Voile de Pearl broke, so now I use this one. Then going back with the Le Mer Bronzer, this is just such a nice tone and looks great around the hairline. Using the same brow products as yesterday, so you probably don't need to see me do this again. Brows are important. Even if you're not wearing makeup, I feel like you can always afford to put your brows on, even if it's just a little bit of product. I've been spending my morning reading a lot of your comments on my video that went live on Wednesday, and 
it makes me very happy that you've all been so supportive and if you haven't watched that video I will link it down below but it's about my nose. Contour is done so let's just wax some blusher on again using the L'Oreal Le Blush in shade Rose Santal. This is a cute summer blush without being too pink because I can't really do pink because of my skin tone, so this is really nice. I'm gonna go back in with the Glow Starter from Glam Glow, but this one is the Nude Glow, which I used yesterday as well. I'm gonna pop this on as a highlight. Dab this on. For a beautiful natural glow. This is the ultimate, like, I don't have highlight on highlight. This is really natural so this is for the girl that like doesn't want like i said yesterday the stripy kind of over accentuated highlight which i think looks amazing i honestly do i kind of tend to go for a bit more of a natural one and this is just beautiful and dewy and i've got it all over my hands which means i can use it elsewhere oh <laughs> i didn't even mean to do that then but yes you can use this elsewhere as well this is something that i like i get a lot of people mention about like shoulder highlights um and like these areas i do tend to have i think i've got quite a prominent bone here so there's always a little bit of a highlight but you can always accentuate these areas with a little glow see that a little bit of shoulder highlight especially in the summer when you've got like strappy dresses on just whack a little bit of glow there and it just makes like it just illuminates your skin so nicely so it's a little trick that i'm sure you've heard before but i'm just telling you about <laughs> And then to set everything in place, I'm going to use the Glow Setter from Glam Glow. This is what I used yesterday and seriously, I didn't realise how good this was until I had to use it in 32 degree heat. So good. So I'm introducing Alice to the vlog. Alice brings me around a bunch of flowers every week. And look how big these are. Oh my gosh, they're so, oh my God, I get so excited <laughs> each time. I love flowers. And if you can hear Ali, Ali doesn't understand that he can speak into his phone rather than just uh, yes. having it on loudspeaker all the time. Do you look at them? They are good. So these are my beautiful flowers from Alice. And oh my God, they've literally just brightened up my day. It's so nice having a bunch of flowers in my home. I was trying to do nice speeches and then she comes and ruins it. <coughs> yes, I know. Um, yeah, so I always wanted to have like candles and flowers in my house and Alice just does the most beautiful arrangements. Um, it just makes me feel a little bit happier having flowers in my home. I feel like I've had a bit of an emotional roller coaster of a day. I'm not going to lie. It's been... Uh... It's been different. Uh, I actually had my first ever email from the ASA today and it was just so, do you know, initially, I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very scared because it is quite a scary thing because we feel like we're like out here on our own. But I phoned them and it, more than anything, it gave me peace of mind to know that I'm always declaring content in the right way and it was great, it was really great. And I was, everything was fine. It wasn't like a big problem and, um, it was just good, it gave me peace of mind to, to know that I'm doing what I should be doing and like I, I declare in the right ways and that's just so good. She ended up watching my video because she had to and um, she was like, I really loved your video so I've got a new subscriber. <laughs> so that's great, but um, no, it was, I was very, very scared and then I was very, very relieved to know that I, because I take it very seriously and yeah, anyway. <laughs> But I need to bag up some uh, bits to be sent from my Depop because I'm selling loads of my stuff on Depop. So um, if you haven't been keeping up to date with that, it's in the description box below. There's going to be lots more stuff on there. Carrie's going to be helping with my Depop because I cannot do it. I cannot keep up with it. And I know that you guys wait quite a while for orders. So yeah, going to be bagging up some bits now. I feel like my makeup looks quite nice today considering I didn't spend a lot of time on it. I'm loving how blonde the ends of my hair are as well. It's so nice. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna make myself some food now because Ali just highlighted that I haven't actually uh, had any lunch today. So I'm gonna go and have that now. Well, it has been a while since we've seen these tools out. I thought you didn't have any tools. Any tool. You're such a liar. <laughs> I can't believe this. I asked Ali a while ago, I think, I, what did I ask you to do for me? And he said, I don't have any tools anymore. I gave them all back to James. I did. So those pictures that I want put up can yeah, now happen. Those 
Oh, no, no, you don't have those kind of tools. Not like a hammer or anything. I've just eaten, I had some leftover, like, vegetable, I think it was like vegetable curry and rice. Uh, with yogurt, of course, I always eat with yogurt. Ali had a bit of a moan at me earlier because I forget to have lunch and it's like a, it's something that I do when I'm stressed. Like I'm one of those people, you know like how some people like reach for chocolate when they are stressed and having like a bit of a like stressful time. I just can't eat, like my appetite just disappears. And I have had a few comments recently, and I, but I don't necessarily think it's like complimentary, you know, like, oh, you, you've lost weight, you look great kind of thing. It's more of like a don't lose any more weight because you're sort of looking a little bit, uh, <laughs> so I have to consciously like make myself eat. So even then I'm sat down and thinking, God, I don't want to eat this. Like, it's not like, it's not making me feel good to eat this. It's making me feel like, oh, but I'm looking forward to Love Island tonight. Anyway, I wonder uh, at what point people will be annoyed at me mentioning Love Island. I just love it so much. It's like a guilty pleasure thing. I've always been into it and always been very open about being into it. I know it's not everyone's uh, cup of tea, but yeah, I'm really into it. <laughs> so it is 12, I think it's about 12.30. Ali just came into the office and was like, you doing a night shift? <laughs> um, and I was thinking, well, I, I'm editing this vlog at the moment um, and I've got meetings tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna have to reschedule them. But it's obviously half 12, like I just said. And now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. That's peanut butter. Ali bought smooth. There must be some in the cupboard. Makeup is off. Hair is in a top knot. And I'm getting into bed. It's actually not as hot as it was in previous nights. So that's good. Ali? Yes? It's your time to shine. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>